Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum. Salar Khan here and today uh, maybe with some last numerical problems related to the power factor right so we've seen uh, them in the previous video as well we've also seen the most economical power factor we've seen about the improvement of power factor today we see the example from the book and we wind it up right yes so first example numerical example is example 6.14 of the book so let us get started. 6.14 states what? That a consumer has an average demand of 400 kilowatt. So this is given that he has an average demand of what? Of 400 kilowatts. At a power factor of 0.8 lagging. At a power factor of 0.8 lagging. And annual load factor of 50%. FLD, the load factor is 50%. The tariff is rupees 50 kVA of maximum demand, rupees 50 per maximum demand kVA plus 5 pesos per kilowatt hour. So 0 0.05 per kWh. This is the tariff. If the power factor is improved to 0.95 lagging by installing phase advancing equipment. So this one is your cause of phi 1 similarly now it is improved to cause of phi 2 which is 0 0.95 lagging by phase advancing equipment so calculate the capacity of the phase equ advancing equipment that is your qc is unknown and the net savings that may result if any fine yes so have a look p is given we have the formula for for qc qc is equal to p times tangent of phi 1 minus tangent of phi 2 we've seen these sort of examples so p is given is 400 kilowatts phi 1 from here you have is what cause inverse of 0.8 so uh, this would be 36.9 this is 36.9 phi 1 is 36.9 from the cause inverse of 0.8 and similarly phi 2 is from the cause inverse of 0.95 and it is 18.2 degrees so please do these calculations you need to check the calculations yourself okay 18.2 so from here the qc the leading kvr taken this would come out to be 337 kvars 337 K, V, A, R's and these are leading. So QC is done. Now for the savings what you do is, so first you have to go for the before power factor correction and then you have to go let's say or let's say we go in order of the book. So what does they say? They say the 50 per uh, KVA is the maximum demand charges, right? Yes, which is X. And then you have what? Uh, expenditure on the phase advancing equipment. Okay, so I have not written the question completely. The, the power factor improvement equipment costs rupees 100 per kVAR. The power factor improvement device costs what? It costs rupees 100 per kVAR with a 10% depreciation annually. Now you have to calculate the annual savings, right? Yes. Okay, let me clear one thing. The energy charges per kilowatt hour charges that would remain the same. That would remain the same for the first, for the second. So you are not asked for the charges, don't go for that. Over here we are not asked for that, so we don't go for that, right? The thing is the only, only the maximum, the maximum KVA charges are changing. So, which means the fixed cost is changing and the difference is caused only by that fixed charges. So, we only calculate that. So, uh, 50 multiplied with what? Multiplied with how much are the KVAs first? So, the KVAs in the first case are, uh, you have to go with 800 divided by 0.8. 800? No, 400. Yes, 400. So 400 divided by 0.8. These are the KVAs for the first case. You know this, right? S is equal to P by cause of phi. Uh, so, so, so these are the charges for the first case. So this comes out to be how much? Where is it? Uh, 100 KVA. Wait. 
Okay, so I, I believe the book has got a mistake over here. We, we're not going to do it this way. Let's say, uh, uh, first of all, let me tell you is that uh, that this is if the load factor. So they have, divi they have divided this thing to find the maximum demand. We're given the average demand. So to find the maximum demand, you have to give the actual connected load divided by the demand factor. So this given is the load factor. I believe this should have been the demand factor. This is what confused me, right? So from here, the maximum demand comes out to be 800 kilowatts. Now S1 is for the before power factor correction. So S1 would be 800 divided by 0 0.8. And similarly, after power factor correction, let's say we have uh, uh, S2. So that would be 800 divided by 0 0.95. What are the values? are 1842 1000 kvas and 842 kvas so how much amount of money are you saving so you are saving how much money have a look directly you can write you have 50 per kva right and the kvas that you have saved are how much are 1000 minus 842 you have reduced the kvas by this much amount so multiplied by the per kva charges so this will give you the amount that you have saved and this is equal to 7900 this is equal to 7000 900 similarly you have the cost of capacitors also involved cost of the capacitors of the phase equation equipment so that is how much that is uh, 100 per kvar so 100 and the kvrs are 337 and also it has a 10 percent of a depreciation factor so the thing is the cost that comes out to be 3370 3370 so have a look by by improving the power factor, you have saved this much of a money. But how have you improved the power factor? By spending this much more money extra. So which means the net saving, the total and the net savings at the end that you have got are how much? They are this 7,900 minus 3,370. So this would be your overall saving, which is 4,530. 4,530 rupees. And that is it. I believe this is clear. You can have the the what the the per kilowatt hour charges as well, the energy charges, but they would be the same in both cases. You will take the difference. The effect is negated. Fine. Yes. Next example: six point one five. A factory has an average demand of what? Uh, has an average demand of fifty kilowatts. So fifty kilowatts is the average demand. And and, and wait 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 in the previous one i also should have taken over here we take the maximum demand so i take it as 800 right i take it as 800 fine yes so 50 kilowatts is the load and then you have what annual load factor is 0.5 so i again say this is not the load factor this should be the demand factor this should be the demand factor 0.5 which is connected really to the maximum demand so with the help of this we will find the maximum demand okay okay the power factor is 0.75 lagging, 0.75 lagging is the power factor. The tariff is rupees 100 kVA, rupees 100 per kVA of maximum demand plus how much? Uh, 5 pesa per kilowatt hour, 0 0.05 rupees per kilowatt hour. If the loss free capacitors costing rupees 600 per kVR are to be utilized. So 600 per kVAR is the cost of the capacitors. They are loss free. Find the value of the power factor at which maximum saving will result. So which means cost of phi 2 is unknown which is that and we will be using the most economical definition. The interest and depreciation together amount to 10%. With this 600 per kVR, you have an interest and depreciation factor of a 10%. Also determine the annual saving effect. So we've seen the formula. This is 1 minus y upon x whole squared under the root. This is the most economical power factor. So this comes out to be how much? Please put down the values. 1 minus y is what? y is the cost of the capacitors. Cost of the capacitors is 600. You have a 10% depreciation. 0.1 divided by x is the KVA maximum demand charges, which are 100. You take the whole squared. You put it under the root. You do the calculation. What does this come out to be? This is 0 0.8 lagging. This is 0 0.8 lagging. 
the maximum demand of the system you can calculate by taking the connected load divided by the demand factor 50 divided by 0 0.5 is 100 kilowatts the 100 kilowatts now now you go for before power factor correction and then you go for after before power factor so s1 is let's say before so that would be 100 divided by 0 0.75 this comes out to be how much uh, 133.34 133.34 similarly s2 would be after power factor correction so the same p which is 100 divided by the new power factor which is 0.8 and this comes out to be how much 125 kvs 125 kvs so have a look how much have you saved the savings are because of the KVS. So you have reduced the KVS by this much amount 133.34 minus 125. By this much amount you have reduced the KVS. So how much cost are you saving? So you multiply it with the per KVA charges which are rupees 100. So have a look what does this come out to be? This is 834 rupees. 834 rupees. Now, now what do you have? Okay. Uh, they finished it over here also determine the annual saving affected by improving the power factor to this value okay if this is it this should be it now why have they not done this calculation because we've gone for the most economical power factor where all the other factors are included okay now you do not need when you talk about the most economical power factor then you do not have to go for the cost of the capacitors and this and that that we have already calculated we've already included in this y in this the in the power factor calculation we already have included those costs and that interest and depreciation factor of the phase advancing equipment 6.16 6.16 what does it state? A factory takes a steady load of 200 kilowatts at a lagging power factor of 0 0.8. 200 kilowatts at 0 0.8 lagging power factor. The tariff is rupees 100 per kVA, rupees 100 per kVA of the maximum demand plus rupees 5 pesos per kilowatt hour. The phase advancing plant costs rupees 500 per kvar. 500 per kvar is the cost, and the annual interest and depreciation together are 10%. Interest and depreciation is 10%. Find the value to which power factor is improved so the annual expenditure is minimum. So the most economical power factor that is cause of phi 2 again by the same definition 1 minus y by x square so y is what y is 500 per kvr but we have a difference depreciation factor of 10 percent and divide by x are the maximum demand charges in kvas whole squared under the root so the most economical power factor to which it can be improved is this one 0 0.866 lagging 0 0.866 lagging fine okay the next is the capacity of the phase advancing plant the capacity of the phase advancing plant which means qc is unknown so qc you can calculate by using p p is 200 we are not given the demand factor so we'll take the connected load as the maximum demand and then you have tangent of phi 1 and phi 1 would be what phi 1 would be cause inverse of 0.8 and then you have minus tangent of phi 2 and phi 2 would be what it would be cause inverse of 0.866 and from here the kvr rating of the capacitors would come out to be how much 34.52 kvrs 34.52 kvars are the leading kvrs that are you know delivered by the power factor improvement device it is very hot in here the third, the new bill for energy assuming that the factory works for 5000 hours per annum. So the time is given is 5000 hours per annum. You have to find the energy bill. Okay. So let's say what do you have? Units consumed. E first you need to do the units consumed in kilowatt hours. So that would be P into T. So 200 into 5. 
thousand would come out to be what? Uh, where is it? Where is it? 10 to the power 6. Yes, yes. 10 to the power 6 kilowatt hours are the units that you are using. So the annual energy charges, the energy charges would be what? The energy charges that are dependent on this, that is 10 to the power 6 and per kilowatt hour cost is 5 pesos, so 0 0.05 rupees and this comes out to be 50,000 rupees. 50,000 rupees. Okay, just let me take this call please. Okay, so what is this? This is the energy charges, right? Okay, then what do you have? The, you also have the phase advancing equipment involved. So what would that cost be? That cost is 500 multiplied with the KVR. So 34.52 multiplied with the KVRs are 500 and that comes out to be what? 1726. Uh, so, uh, well, I believe this should not be included over here. 1726. Okay. Then what do you have? The maximum uh, demand charges. So you also have the maximum demand charges. The energy charges are this much. The maximum demand charges are this much. Maximum demand charges are based on the KVAs. What are the KVAs? KVAs are 200 divided by the new power factor in this case. Or the old. The new 0.866 and this comes out to be how much? Uh, well, multiplied with the per kVA charges as well, which is 100 and this comes out to be 23094. Annual bill? Annual bill will be what? Annual bill would be fixed charges 50,000 plus variable charges 23094 plus cost of capacitor. 1726 the answer is 74820 74820 rupees now i believe this should not have been included over here the cost of the capacitor or this should also have been included over here anyways i think if the if you talk about the most economical power factor then you do not need to include that costs so anyways we go according to the book the last example for the day 6.17 6.17 an industrial load takes 80,000 units in a year. 80,000 kilowatt hours are yearly. The average power factor being 0 0.707 lagging. 0 0.707 lagging. The recorded maximum demand is 500 kVAs. Now this is good. 500 kVAs. The tariff is rupees 120 per kVA of maximum demand. 120 per kV of the maximum demand plus 2.5 pesos per kilowatt hour. So 0 0.025 per kilowatt hour. This is the tariff. Calculate the annual cost of supply and find out the annual saving by installing phase advancing plant costing 50 per kVAR. 50 per kVAR is the cost of phase advancing equipment or power factor improvement device which raises the power factor to 0 0.9 lagging 0 0.9 lagging allow 10 percent per year cost of the phase advancing to cover all additional costs so 10 percent is the depreciation or interest factor so first of all you know qc is unknown so qc have a look you have uh, where is it uh, annual cost of supply the previous case annual cost of supply before power factor correction so annual cost of supply would be the fixed cost plus the variable cost so annual bill which is the fixed cost is what that is on the basis of kva so which means 120 multiplied by the maximum demand kva 500 plus the energy consumed that is what the energy consumed is 80 thousand units multiplied with the per unit cost is 0 0.025 rupees so the annual bill before power factor correction comes out to be rupees uh, well this is a little bit misprinted but let's say this is 62,000 rupees all right yes okay so 
uh, the maximum demand you uh, for now for the phase advancing equipment you need the maximum demand p so that would be the kvas divided by the power factor which it is operating at and that is the 353.3 353.3 so you put it over here and then you have tangent of phi 1 and phi 1 would be what that would be the cos inverse of 0.707 and then minus tangent of phi 2 which would be cos inverse of 0.9 and this implies that the capacitor rating QC comes out to be 182.3 kVARs. 182.3 kVARs. The cost is what? The cost for this QC is rupees 50 per kVAR. So 50 per kVAR and the total kVARs are 182.3 and also you've got a 10% depreciation factor which is 0.1. So the cost would come out to be rupees 912 in this case. Now, power factor has increased from 0.707 to 0 0.90, 0 0.9, right? Yes. So the KVA, this was S1, that is before power factor. Now S2 is 500 divided by 0 0.9. So the KVA has reduced to what? To 392.6. Wait, I have a mistake over here. The book has got a mistake over here. 353.9. 353.3 are the kilowatts. Yes, so 353 are the kilowatts. Wait, 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 wait. 353 are the kilowatts. This one is S1, 500. S2 is what? This is this 353. 0.3 divided by 0.9. Yes, yes, this is 392. So have a look. 0.6. So the KVA saved, KVA saving, or how much KVA has reduced? Oh, I have a mistake again. Yes, no mistake, no mistake. So the KVA has reduced from the initial of 500 to a new of 392.6, which is how much? 107.4. 107.4. So how much saving are you doing? By the KVA reduction. So that is 107.4 are the KVAs reduced and per KVA charges are 120. So you multiply it to get what? 12 triple eight. 12 triple eight rupees this much are you saving annually now the units consumed are the same for both before perfect correction after perfection so the energy cost would remain the same right yes so the annual saving only will come from where uh, oh, oh, well the total saving you have had a saving of this much rupees but you this this much you have saved but you have also you know incorporated this much money into the system by by what by installing the phase advancing equipment so which means that the net saving the net savings would be what that would be this amount savings minus the amount that you are spending 912 so the total amount that you have saved is 11,976 11,976 rupees is the amount of money that you have saved annually for yourself and that should be it you can see my condition and you can imagine the weather so I finished this video over here that is it for me from for, for this video and also for the course most probably we ended over here the power factor was the last topic if you have anything else you have anything in the uh, to ask you have anything whatever you want to say the comment section is for you guys I will see you in the next video where we will solve the assignments I will solve we have two or three assignments then we'll solve the past paper and that would be it for me so for this video that is it that is it about the course in a great detail a very interesting course i'll see you in the next video with assignment number one till then take care goodbye